want to do. I like your tie, James. This isn't live, is it? Yeah. Sure, it's not too clever, but this tie's lovely. Talk for it. Go on, I am talking to you. He never won a World Cup, and yet to many, he is still the greatest English manager. The affection for Sir Bobby Robson lives on. Come on, let's play football! From players, fans, and the woman who was by his side for over half a century and who admits the documentary on her late husband was at times tough to watch. Well, it's, it's very emotional because it's narrated in Bob's own voice. And so it's very, very poignant. And um, yes, yeah, so it's just, it's, it's really, a friend said to me, we're lucky. He said, she said, you're lucky to have it as a memory of him. And I thought that just summed it up. I call him daft as a brush, and he was. <laughs> daft as a brush. Yeah, you can't beat that. Few will ever forget the father-son relationship he developed with midfielder Paul Gascoigne at its height during Italia 90. And tonight, nine years after Sir Bobby's death, he could yet inspire the three Lions again. Those about to head to Russia have been viewing it at the team hotel. So the England World Cup squad are watching Sir Bobby's documentary tonight. What do you make of that? I think it's wonderful. I think they learn a lot about determination and um, when they see how hard those players and how, how much love of the game they had, I think that'll be transferred to them. I mean, I'm sure it's there already, but it'll be enhanced, if you like. It's already been screened at Ipswich, the club where he cut his teeth as a manager, and at his beloved Newcastle, raising money for the Sir Bobby Robson Foundation. That's a cancer charity created as he battled with the disease and that has already raised more than £10 million. He just loved what he did in, in life and he, he was, he was um, always careful that he said, you know, he was lucky because he did what he loved throughout his life and not many people can do that. And for that, he was loved back then and still clearly now. Richard Pallow, News at 10.